Well, here we are. Home sweet new home. We're moving into a pet shop. Little's pet shop. Hmm. Didn't notice that before. I'm Whitney Biscuit. And I'm like, Brittany Biscuit. We're, We're twins. twins. What is happening to me? Animals are speaking, and I can understand them. Wait. Did you just say that you can understand us? Nicholas Pet Shop is closing? If only there was someone who could help us out. Someone who could understand and communicate with us. I got it. We need life. Why me? You're the only person who actually understands us. Okay, okay. I'll help. You have to save the shop by tomorrow. What the when? You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. flight they'll leave without me which would be bad because I'm the captain come on flight let's go what's that racket uh, just some construction you know big city stuff <laughs> nothing to see Whoa. Adventure, right, Dad? That's right, Blythe. You know you love an adventure. And I love you, too. But I wish you wouldn't call me Blythe. I'm too old for that. You'll always be my little girl. Goodbye, girls. Try not to get expelled today, hmm? Okay, Dad. We'll, like, try. Okay, who has an idea of how Blythe can help us save Littlest Pet Shop? The only thing to do is hold a benefit show with lots of great singers, like me. Yeah, yeah, come save the Littlest Pet Shop. Yeah, 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 the Littlest Pet Shop, Littlest Pet Shop. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, a comedy show is clearly the thing that's going to pack him in. And of course, I'll be the headliner. Why did the rubber chicken cross the road? Because he wanted to stretch his legs, huh? Right? <laughs> Two words for you. Dance a thorn. <laughs> One word for you. Ouch. Maybe Blythe can make Mrs. Twombly's problems disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Just once, can I get some input that didn't involve each of you taking the opportunity to show off? What? Oh, I got another one. Oh, I got another one. What am I, locker challenged? Why won't this thing open? Hey there. Having trouble? I've tried like five times, but I can't seem to get my locker open. I had the same locker last year. There's a trick to it. Mind if I try? Here's the combination. I'm Jasper Jones, by the way. I'm Sue Patterson. And I'm Young Mi Song. Hi, I'm Blythe Baxter. Are you new here? Yeah, new in school, new in town. Oh, where do you live? On Oak Street. Our building has a crazy pet shop on the ground floor. You mean Littlest Pet Shop? I love that place! Too bad you didn't love it a little more because it's closing. Oh, yeah. I heard that since largest ever pet shop opened, it's stolen a lot of business away from Littlest. Really? Poor Mrs. Twombly just can't keep up. So sad. Huh. You know what's really sad? Largest ever is owned by Fisher Biscuit, father of the unofficial, official, mean girls of the school. The Biscuit Twins. <laughs> like Whitney. And like Brittany. We'd like Matt. 
<laughs> hey, would you like to eat lunch at our table? Yeah, sure. Too much pepper. Not enough base seasoning. Soggy bun. Ugh, how is it legal to call this a fish sandwich? <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Right, Blythe? Oh, uh, what? Oh, sorry, Jasper. My mind wandered back to the Littlest Pet Shop. See, I promised Russell I would help save it from closing, but I'm not sure how. Who's Russell? Oh, uh, short guy, spiky hair. Not a porcupine. Hey! Hello, Blythe. You're, like, always carrying this around, aren't you? You must really want people to see your designs. Yeah, otherwise you wouldn't, like, carry it around. Check it out, Brit. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Gross. Barf. Ew. Blythe style? More like blech style. So, Blythe, even though your little drawings aren't that great, if you want to sit at our lunch table, we'll allow it. Oh, that's tempting, but I'm sitting with my new friends for lunch, so no thanks. Did she just say no to us again? Ugh, she did. Listen, Blythe. By saying no to us, like, again, you just got on our very bad side. And we heard what you said about Littlest Pet Shop, and you better just stick to designing your little clothes. Yeah, because there's nothing you can do to save it. Ooh, okay, it's officially official. Those girls are mean. No doubt, Jasper. But those mean biscuits just gave me a great idea of how to save Littlest Pet Shop. Blythe and Mrs. Twombly. Wow! Blythe looks really excited about something. <laughs> I wish we could hear what they're saying. I can hear the mailman coming from three blocks away. Twombly, I've got a surefire idea for saving Littlest Pet Shop. Oh, got it. Blythe said that she's sure to set fire to the pet shop. Huh? Wait, that can't be right. Shh. You have a way to save my shop from going out of business? I know it sounds kind of crazy, and I'm just a kid, but... I was just a kid once. Tell me your idea. Well, you see, I love designing clothes, but I never thought of designing them for pets. Oh, pet clothes are so popular. Go on. I never thought of designing pet clothes until today. But I was thinking, if we could put on a fashion show and get all the day camp pets to model my designs... A fashion show? People would come for the show, see the shop, and remember how much they love it. I love it, too. And this would be the only place in town where they could buy the clothes. These are adorable, Blythe. I think it could work, Mrs. Twombly. At least, it's worth a try. Let's do it. Look at them. It's like they knew what we've been talking about. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> Thanks.
fashion show to save Littlest Pet Shop from closing? Blythe style. This is a really good idea. Uh, yeah. And we've got to do something to ruin it. Oh, right. And humiliate Blythe like for good. Oh, my! That's some crowd out there. Blythe! Those flyers of yours sure did the trick. You must have used some extra fancy paper stock. 100-pound gloss text, Mrs. Twombly. It's softer than most paper stocks, but thick enough to impress customers. Oh, well, good to know. Blythe, you're a genius! But uh, how are you going to come up with all the money? All what money? All this money. Come get free money? What the what? Mrs. Twombly, I have no idea how this happened. Who could have put this on all our flyers? It just seems so mean. Oh, no. I'm sure this fashion show will be great, but mostly I came for the free money. Yeah. Look at this crowd, Whitney. That was a really good idea to write free money on all those flyers around town. Well, we needed to be sure there'd be plenty of people here to see Blythe get totally humiliated. Okay, but could you remind me of something? Why are we dressed like icky cats? Ugh. We're undercover, so we need to blend in with the other pets around here, remember? Oh, yeah! And why do we have a bucket of chocolate icing and a bucket of kitty litter? Because, Brittany, we're going to climb up to the catwalk and then at just the right moment, dump the icing and kitty litter all over Blythe and those pets of hers. Oh, yeah, embarrassing Blythe and ruining the fashion show. <laughs> Whitney, you're so smart. I know. Uh-oh, here comes somebody. Quick! Meow, like, meow... Money, 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 money. Oh dear, I've only got a buck seventy-four. We're gonna need a lot more money to keep this crowd at bay. Okay, I'll just have to go out there and let them know there's been a terrible mistake. Oh, don't be silly, dear. I'll do it. They can't be too angry. After all, they're about to see the most amazing fashion show ever. <sighs> this was the last thing I needed. I'm already so nervous. What? No, you're gonna be great. Oh, yeah, yeah you like you'll to be great. Rock this. Thanks, you guys. I thought I was gonna have to rely on the pets to talk me down. Rely on the pets to talk? What? Uh, uh, well, when I say talk, I mean in their little animal language, you know. <laughs> the pressure's really getting to her. Oh, those pets, they're just so cute and non verbal. <laughs> Now, you three get out of here. I have a fashion show to put on. Money, 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 Thank you money, for coming. Money, I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is there is no free money. I should have known this was a put on. I'm going home to watch my stories. Uh, but the good news is, the first ever Littlest Pet Shop Pet Fashion Show is about to begin! So now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Lifestyle, sold exclusively here at Littlest Pet Shop. Okay, everyone, you're all gonna be great. Just remember, be yourselves. Take your places, everyone. This is it. Break a leg, everyone! Why would Blythe want us to break a leg? That makes me worry.
Take a bow. Okay, I think I will. <sighs> Whitney, I'm getting bored. Can we like dump this stuff now? In a second, Brittany. It's gotta be at just the right moment. <laughs> a close one. shop but what is it mrs twombly all these sales the only way i'll be able to keep up is if you come to work for me really mrs twombly i'd love to work here did you guys hear that sounds like you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me around here Yay! i'm sure glad you moved in blight because if it was anyone else they probably wouldn't have been able to fit in the dumb waiter <laughs> this is true. <laughs> well, I'm glad I fit. And I'm glad my dad found this place. But I'm most glad to have met you guys. Aww. Group hug! <laughs> that smells... Nice. Pepper must be happy. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Did I just see you talking to your pets? Why, yes. Yes, you did. Don't you talk to yours? All the time. I do talk to you. Yes, I do. I talk to you all the time. Again with the baby doc? I'm 27 years old. I have to admit, this turned out to be one pretty big adventure. And I made some new friends in the unlikeliest of places. Littlest Pet Shop. Did I miss something? <laughs> 